Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeyam here. Today I have the replay of my third week of SPL. I'm playing my boy Ajna. I actually have him in call right now too. He can say hi. Hey, what's up guys? So we're gonna be, he's a rapper by the way. I wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> That's crazy. But you are a rapper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I wanted to, uh, he, he actually asked back when, before we, when we were scheduling that if uh, he wins or whatever, um, he has to hop in call with me and talk about his team process and whatnot. And I also said, okay, but if you lose, you also have to hop in call with me and talk about, you know, the process behind your team and whatnot. He was talking about bringing Stahl versus me too, so you can flame the guy if you want. Hey, tell me, tell, tell me Stahl didn't win from preview. That <laughs> Stahl definitely would <laughs> but you said you wouldn't bring Stahl, so why, why would I prep for him? I, hey, what if I was a liar? You just lost, that's crazy. That's fine, you get on my channel and you get torn apart for being a liar. Oh uh, no. <laughs> it's a win-win. You're right. So win win. Anyway, my smoke, my smoking wall would be lit up. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your uh, thought process? I'll, I'll tell you mine after. You can tell me yours. All right, for sure. Uh, basically, like I just wanted something like super standard and solid, like because I I wasn't able to get like a good grasp on what I thought you'd bring, like from your first two weeks. Like the first two teams were like they were standard, but like I didn't get like any huge like building trends or anything from the beginning. So I just kind of wanted to bring something solid. And I seen Evie's team last week, and Sand worked really well, and this worked really well in tests. But like we talked about before, like the two months I didn't want to see were Galissa Pod and yeah, Drapion. Yeah, I see Drapion. <laughs> and Buffo were there. <laughs> yeah, but look, like after, like I, I thought it was bad. Ended Pod from preview, so that was like way, way worse. Insect play, I could have, but I kind of, I feel like I messed up like in my head. Like my mentality from preview was really bad because I saw that I had a bad matchup, and I kind of just assumed the worst. And I feel like. It kind of made me play like not as well, but yeah, basically I wanted something solid. So like it's breakers, it, it's not like a strong breaker. Like it's CB Gigalith, which can get like surprise kills, but um, it's basically just like wear the team down with like solid balance and try and win with Stoutland. Yeah. So my thought process is going in. Uh, shout out to LL, shout out to Selgor, shout out to Hog and all of them. But um, the thought process going in was uh, we wanted something that could allow Gardevoir to do some work and I was watching your replays because I was just watching mm -hmm. and I was like this dude be using offense a lot let me just bring the Lysopod so even if he brings mm -hmm. webs or something versus me I can at least get off a strong hit versus you mm -hmm. um, I even wanted to bring Aqua Jet on my Lysopod it was Spikes uh, his last move mm -hmm. I was even thinking about uh, Aqua Jet because of uh, you know late game Salazzo or Salazzle. something yeah, yeah, it could yeah. be a huge problem um, so the idea behind it was uh, I thought SD Pursuit Drapion was the best type of Drapion to bring because mm -hmm. Bronzong always would go for Protect versus Drapion to scout for Pursuit or not. And mm -hmm. um, and then if you know if I go for Pursuit and you go for Protect, you could Earthquake. I, I'm assuming you have Earthquake because of uh, Raikou in the tier now. Um, or at least Gyro Ball, whatever, uh, to do no, with No, no, I'm, I'm straight, I'm straight Psywave top. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I mean, I could break Raikou's sub sometimes anyway. Yeah. But um, you, have, you have some else, but... Uh, so the thought process was okay SD on the protect always pursue Bronzong and then let Specs Gardevoir go in um, Yeah, for sure. I like Specs Gardevoir a lot too because if stack attack came in to take 40 I could hit it with another one and then Galisopod could check it after mm -hmm. if it's set for trick room And then I also had stack attack for that too um, Yeah, and like we I had Yon Uxie because it allowed first off uh, Drapion to come in it allowed stack attack to set up trick room and it, it basically mm -hmm. Force like you know your uh, Mandibuzz defogger or you know Mantine whatever it forced it to switch out if it wanted to stay awake while I could get up rocks and yeah. play alongside it and then the last was uh, Scarf Serena because uh, I wanted mm -hmm. some speed control it was an originally a Power Whip U Turn Rapid Spin knockoff uh, but I made it play mm -hmm. rough last minute because uh, I liked knocking out Noivern after rocks and also you know another check to. Verizion because Verizion could be threatening if Oxy gets yeah. worn down or Goliath. Sure. Did you did you drop? Did I what? Did you drop knockoff? I dropped knockoff. Yeah. For, yeah, for sure. Because I figured Drapion would be able to pursue things and yeah. uh, Specs yeah. Specs Gardevoir would weaken uh, Metagross a good chunk anyway. Does like thirty something. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I messed around with Scarf Serena a little bit. Like I feel like I just wanted so many moves. Like I wanted high jump kick. I wanted knockoff. Yeah. I wanted yeah. play rough and everything. Yeah, I actually had a similar idea as you. Like um i wanted really badly to build with like uh it was like just standard life orb nido queen with cb pursuit oh my Metagross. God, everybody brings that versus me dude bro nido queen is like i don't yeah your teams were pretty weak to nido queen to be honest i mean yeah he's balanced it's a balance <laughs> 
so tired of that Pokemon coming versus me. Yeah, like the thing with Japion is like, I don't know. I really felt like I wasn't gonna see Japion because, like, back in the first two snakes and stuff, like people brought Japion versus me a lot because I use Rose, and so I've tried to move away from Roserade, and so I haven't brought it in a while, and I, I never bring Zong. So I was like, man, I really hope there's not a Japion, but. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I just like the idea a lot, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, by the way, guys, it's... if it cuts off a little bit. Um, oh, bear with us, if anything. Because, like, yeah, you're still coming apologies. out a little bit. No, yeah, like, I don't know, bro. Like, my internet's, like, fine. I don't know, it's really weird. I have this problem on Discord a lot. Maybe I gotta, like, uninstall it or something. Do you want to maybe try and move into the private call again, and then we just open up the replay uh, and just talk about it? And we could go again. Yeah. Really? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're pausing. I know it's like six minutes into the intro, but I wanted to give you guys both tournament players' perspective. Uh, I think Ajna is also. Are you tier leader? Are you not? No. Nah. Or is that Rafine? Nah, that that's RF. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's Rafine. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. So uh, if you guys didn't know, the last time we played was actually um, Slam Finals. So well, the last time we played in the oh, tournament. Are you open finals? Yeah. Are you open finals? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So we'll be right back, guys, with the. Uh, the battle breakdown. All right, guys, we're back. So, um, yeah, we can just start it. I have it on normal speed, music off. Uh, well, music off doesn't matter for you. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I I'm got on, it on normal too. I'm on turn one. Um, so what was your thought process behind your lead? Uh, basically, like, I wanted to be able to chip Yuxi, and I feel like, so if you led Stacka, Stacka, like, I obviously have Slowbro and Zong. So, and if you... You led guard, like I have, I have uh, Giga and Bronzong, so I feel like with Mandy, like it just covered everything I needed, and the few things that beat it, like I had solid answers to. Do. Yeah, it makes sense. My thought process behind Oxy was, um, it gave me a decent. I, I, you didn't know I had Yawn, so I could Yawn out Mandibuzz. I could. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know if you would be U turn or not. Well, I guess you could have been. Um, but I could Yawn um, out Mandibuzz. I, it would give me a good lead versus Gigalith. Like I thought this would mm -hmm. be the best lead versus Gigalith that I could have. Uh, even mm -hmm. even though you ended up being CB, um, yeah. and basically just rocking up and just starting it going because I was trying to get in your Bronzong as early mm -hmm. as possible so I could pursue traffic. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah, we see uh, I go for rocks, you go for knock, and this is where I reveal the uh, the Vion because I'm pretty sure you defog here, um, mm -hmm. which gives me you know the option of uh, potentially rocking again uh, as I do on the uh, Gigalith. So right here. Um, I, I, I was pretty positive that Zong was your rocker, but I didn't yeah. know uh, what type of Gigalith like they ran besides that because I've also run like Explosion Choice Band. I've ran uh, Smooth Rock as well on Gigalith, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't think it was your rocker, but I was also I, I wasn't sure. So basically, I thought if I yawned, I got the most out of this turn. I, I could yeah, not risk Stack Attacka because Stack Attacka could win with a little bit of chip on uh, Slowbro and the trapping of Zong. Yeah. No, I completely agree. Like, basically, behind superpower, like, it was just, just it, it was, like, a high reward, like, pretty low risk, because I didn't lose that much from, yeah. from just having to switch out again. But the thing that kind of screwed me is, like, I couldn't go into anything because of the combination of Drapion and Pod. So yeah. I had to hope for, like, I had to hope for Scarf Drop, because then I had, like, a chance to get a Brox or, or switch out. Yeah, no, no, I agree. So, like, right here, you throw off the superpower. I think that's a good play, too, because Stack Attacker is... It's pretty nasty, and I yeah, find out yeah. your choice ban based on that damage. Um, yeah, yeah. And because of the yawn, I'm basically able to U-turn for free. Like, it didn't matter if you stayed in anyway. You're locked in. You're minus one, and that's yeah. when you bring out big boy Bronzong. This is where it gets <laughs> a little bit like every Bronzong and their mom will go for protect here. So I go for yeah. SD. You know, bluff the that. I mean, I am the SD set, but I'm assuming yeah, yeah, yeah. like you did not. I had I had I had no idea you were suit. Yeah. I haven't seen that set since like Ores. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I like that. I wanted to pair with Minior at a point, uh, but um, so you want to turn, talk about your turn seven eight turn? Seven eight. So as I go, Verizion oh, into sec. the double into Gigalith. Okay, so basically with Verizion, I was trying to like, um, I was special Verizion. I was Calm Mind, Giga Drain, Focus Blast, Synthesis. Mm. And I know Synthesis and Sand, so I have to be careful. But it's basically it gives me a better answer to Blastoise and just um. But basically, so I go over his, and then I didn't want to waste my Z move, and I knew you weren't staying in there. Yeah. And I was basically in the back, so I was just trying to gain some momentum. And like, I, I felt like your best play was sacking UC, but then again, like, I didn't want to stay in and, and yeah, like I go had, for like, Yeah, risk like a poison uh, jab or something. Yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, no. And I, 
Yeah, and I didn't want to waste my Z move. So I was just like, I'll try and go Giga because like maybe I'd catch something else like guard or pod and get yeah. like a strong. Um, uh... Yeah, no, that that's that's definitely true. Um, I very much valued the stealth rock damage on Giga Lift because it meant that mm -hmm. I guaranteed the two hit KO with Specs Gardevoir. Yeah. Um, I was a I was some speed too. So. Nah. This is this is pretty big. For it me. made it. You missed the Stone Edge. Yeah, like I don't know. I feel at this point I was in like a pretty bad position, anyways. But definitely hitting the Stone Edge would have made it a little. Yeah, a little bit easier, uh, for sure. Like I could have gotten in potentially stack attack. That's that was the plan, right? If you go for edge, I obviously get in stack attacka. Um, yeah. And then from there, does the stack attacka kill Slowbo after rocks with Z? Uh, it has to hit it first before. Okay. It has to hit it first. But it, it, I wouldn't use stack attacka as uh, a sweeper right now. But yeah, yeah. Um, even like and I don't think I'd go for trick room either. I just use it as a pivot. Uh, to try mm -hmm. and get in my Gardevoir after. But yeah, you missing Stone Edge was pretty big. And it gave me the uh, the turn to U-turn. Now, like when I hit Stoutland, I knew that mm -hmm. if I went Gardevoir and I trace you, you're in range of Specs Moonblast. That's like the damage I need for Specs Moonblast. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're Jolly and I throw away my Gardevoir, I'm going to regret it because Gardevoir has such a good matchup, right? If it gets in versus something slower, Mandibuzz, yeah. Slowbro, whatever, two KOs, something, yeah. it, it eats a hit from Virizion as well, um, if need be. So mm -hmm. I opted to go the uh, the Galisopod route because Choice Ban Return did about 50%, 50 percent, fifty something percent, because I had a lot of HP, um, mm -hmm. close to sixty percent. And uh, first impression, first off, Insect Play has a chance to knock you out, and mm -hmm. Bandit Guarantee knocks you out. Yeah. So I thought I could at least bluff that uh, by going Galisopod because I wasn't about to risk my timid Gardevoir and lose it to a Jolly Stoutland. Yeah, I completely agree, and I I, I was Jolly. Yeah. So. so Oh, and you, you, oh, so you're Jolly, so you even got a high roll Jolly later on, as you, we'll talk about, because uh, oh, when, yeah. when you pursued I, my Gardevoir, but yeah. So, what was the uh, the process behind bringing a Mana Uh, Are we on turn 12? I'm on turn 11, turn 12, yeah, I just, okay. I just went for first Turn 11 to 12. Okay, so, basically, like, if I go, like, so if it's Banded, and I go anything else, like, I don't, like, I didn't even calc, but the, I, Giggle Probably lives with like barely like anything smidgen, if you yeah. were banded here. Yeah. Yeah. And so it can't come back into rocks. And I had um, the Oxy sack as well, always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it didn't do anything and I lost my sand. Um, because the thing is like even if like if I if I defog with Mandy, you still have Uxie to come in and just up until it dies. Yeah. So, so I can't even keep him off. Um so basically like I was just trying to get chip with helmet and yeah, basically just trying to get chip, and I was Brave Bird, not Defog Roost. Um, ah, the good set. Big Brave Bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, you go, you go Yuxi. So, your first impression. Oh, no, in the no, guard? I, I go Gardevoir because. Oh, yeah, you guard, guard as I Defog. Yeah, because you either force to Defog or Roost. I doubt you'd attack there. Um, and I want to mm. keep my Uxie Sack for the dog. Yeah. Uh, as well. Like, at worst, you attack there, but my Moonblast was still really threatening, and I also had Healing Wish on my Specs Gardevoir. Um, oh, okay, so that's something sure. I could have kept in mind with my glass spot. Like if things got low, uh, yeah, you didn't lose you didn't lose anything by going guard. Right. Um, so like in, in and if I roost there, like I feel like I'm even like in a worse position. Like yeah, either way from this point, yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way from this point, it's kind of like super grim for me. So like I don't, I don't know I don't know if rooster default here was better, but I just got him off to like try and give myself a chance, I guess. Yeah, I mean like even like I said, if you didn't get it up, if you didn't get it off anyway, um. Like, if you roosted, I just got Inspect Gardevoir for free. And yeah, for now sure. I keep up rocks, and I still 2 or something. Yeah. Yeah, you would 100% got a kill there. Yeah. And I and you still have rocks up, so. Yeah, so, I mean, you go Gigalith, you kind of, I feel like you kind of had to, because you need to get him. Yeah. To, you have no way to revenge kill, especially when you find out that you're, uh, you're special Verizion. So. Yeah, and I didn't even know this was Specs. Specs, yeah, yeah. Because from preview, from preview, I would have assumed either, either, either Scarf Drap or Scarf yeah, Scarf Gardevoir, so it makes sense. Uh, so right here, you're in Stoutland, and like I, I, mm -hmm. I know you were gonna pursue. Like you have to yeah. pursue here. You basically have to. And I was yeah. so tempted to stay in and just click Moonblast, <laughs> but well, one, uh, it's not worth it because Gardevoir gets a kill if it comes in versus Slowbro or uh, Mandibuzz, and mm -hmm. even even your Virizion for one, uh, for that. And also like, if I find out you're adamant based on the damage. Um, I could potentially reverse sweep you as well, with just tracing mm -hmm. your thing. I didn't know what type- what yeah. was your slow bro set? 
Uh, I was defensive, Colbert. I was slack off, scald, ice beam. Oh. Wait, what was the last move? He kind of uh, cut out a little bit, bro. I cut out again? Side shock, side shock. Side shock, okay, okay. So, yeah. So, you bring out Stalin. Uh, you make the good play, which is going for pursuit. I made the, the Uxie sack. Um, because mm -hmm. basically, if Uxie died there, I can get in stack attack on. You know, do something, or depending on what you did, I can get in something else. Yeah, uh, I feel like I, I feel like just staying him a guard would have been a hard throw, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. Um, yeah. And dude, that damage you did on on pursuit is the high mm -hmm. is the highest roll you can get. I on got Jolly. max. Yeah, this is absolute max on Jolly. <laughs> max on Jolly is thirty five percent. So you got oh, literally max. So this is like I was like, oh okay. So I was thinking I could go back on a guard, but I was like, I don't know, man. This is iffy. It's not worth mm -hmm. throwing. And you ended up being like you said, Jolly Stalin too. So. Yeah. So it wasn't worth the uh, sack. So yeah, you get the, you pick up the KO on Uxie. Uh This allows in um, my Galisopod. I like Galisopod over my Drapion because, well, you didn't know, but my Drapion uh, doesn't have Poison Jab. Okay. It's Earthquake because look at Stack Attacka. And... Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now, stack is Stack is gross, bro. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's so restricting in team building. It's it's really easy to win with it. Yeah. And. Like, it just, I don't know, you have to be so careful with offense, and there's only, like, a few mods that, like, reliably check yeah. it. Shaka Metagross and stuff, which is, like, I don't know. I feel like Shaka Metagross, it's like, it, it's like a glue, but it never does, like, anything it, near as It much. doesn't do what I need it to do. Like, I, I bring yeah. it on, like, I used it previously, and I, all I did was bring it on Gardevoir to die, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Instead of rocks, that was it. Um, but yeah, so I, I go to last spot here because you're locked in a pursuit, obviously. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's a free first impression whether you stay in or not. And uh, you sacking Mana Buzz definitely made it. Um, well, I mean, at that point, it, it made uh, Power Whip from Serena a little bit more threatening. I still had Play Rough, mm -hmm. and it, it does 2 a KO Mana Buzz. Uh, it it yeah. would knock it out at that point. It took KOs of Rocks, but um, it would knock it out at that point. But I think I don't think me not going for first impression was a poor play. I think that was my only play there. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially because you're not you're not even locked into it. Yeah, exactly. It's it's basically no. So you bring out Stalin here, uh, which is I think smart. Mm -hmm. You can go bro, obviously. Um, and I went Drapion because of the reasoning I told you. You know, no poison yeah, yeah. jab, so it was basically useless. Yeah, it just let it basically let Verizion set up. Yeah. 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 Um, and then I get a sniper crit on you, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> sorry, this this game was this game was so over at this point. Like I really, I don't think there, I don't think there's any way for me to win. Like, let's say you don't crit me there. Like, what do you, what do you go out to? So I kill Drapion. I'm like left with like probably like thirty or twenty five or something. Yeah, and I could go stack attack if I wanted to. Yeah. Stack attack doesn't even die to skull, so you have to. You literally have to slack off spam with Slowbro and then burn me for me not to Stone Edge into Constant to Crush. Yeah, and then you could just like Bring as I have to slack board. off, you can. You can go guard. You can go get Serena. Your, yeah, get your regenerator. Get in Serena. Yeah. So I, th I think that was. Anything. I think that was the play. So I, I, I do apologize about that crit, but. Nah, yeah. it's all good. You bring in Verizion. You don't know at that point that I don't have poison jab. Yeah. You go for Giga Drain. I, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Kind of have to. Uh, and then I bring out Goliath. If I, oh, wait, you? if I if I calm minded on the Drapion, like how I I think like if insect I, if play. I, if I knocked off, you were in mm -hmm. range of play rough from Serena. That's why I clicked it. Okay. Even so, like, if I get low, like, I can't mind a bunch of times and I synth, like, Serena would still kill after Serena, a knock. Serena does, um, yeah, yeah. As long as I get that ah, damage sure. off on it, Serena knocks you out. And even if even if not, you still have to knock out Serena. And I can bring out Goliath about after, which yeah, either yeah. A forces you out or B uh, KOs you with first impression. Yeah, for sure. So that was, like, the thought process there. Like, I, I was also thinking about going acrobatics on Scarf Serena, but Playoff is just a lot better. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it was it was the idea was to, to weaken you uh, to that point. Um, but uh, yeah, what else? So you go, I, I bring out Galisopod. Um I still don't think you know if I'm banned or not because the role. Yeah, I still, I still didn't know. Yeah. So I go first impression here. Now you, you switch because if I was banned, it obviously makes sense. And then I reveal Leech Life. And yeah. uh, at this point, uh, if you Giga Drain me, I get forced down to Serena or, or Serena and literally just click player off twice or once mm -hmm. and if you knock me out all out pummeling which the roll was it was like 87 to 105 percent um mm -hmm. it doesn't matter as long as i get the damage off and galisopod knocks you out with first impression 
Uh, the other yeah. option was always just you turning with my um, Serena as well. But yeah, I, I just yeah, clicked, yeah. I didn't want to give you any opportunity because I knew that you couldn't knock me out with anything. If you were Bloom Doom, then then you couldn't beat Serena anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, so I stayed in to go for Leech Life as you call mine, and you find out here I'm obviously not banded. Yeah. And at that point, even if I go Gardevoir and you Synthesis, uh, Serena either A, knocks you out or puts you in range of uh, Glycopod. Yeah, I think the only way is if, well, for me to win was if I killed Pod and then I had to like, I don't even know if I could dodge because you probably just killed with you. Yeah, yeah, you turn would do, uh, you turn does like 30%. Almost. Yeah, so, so this was basically, good. yeah, this is pretty much over. It was, uh, I, I still in, enjoyed the game. I was just happy that, you know, SD Drapion plus Pursuit did what I needed to do. Like, I'm happy that Galaxy yeah. Cloud worked. I wish we, I don't know, I like, it was fun, but like, I wish we just had like a closer match. So I feel like just from the beginning, I was so screwed. And like, the only way that I feel like I had a chance is if I just harded out like into Verizion when you, you were in with Jap. Yeah. Like, and that's like, that's just like an insane play like i feel like yeah like i said before i feel like i just have to play off the fact that you're like hoping you're scarf no it makes sense because like if i have bronzong in and like, you're talking about the bronzong play right instead of protecting going hard verizion or yeah 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 yeah, yeah so going hard verizion on your uh sd yeah yeah that would have been pretty much all you could have done there i think yeah and, and even losing all out pummeling is still kind of bad for you yeah, uh, yeah, especially because I have Healing Wish on uh, Gardevoir to bring back Drapion always. So even if it gets weakened, mm -hmm. I could bring it back. And mm -hmm. um, the, not being able to knock out Serena. Also, you know, having to deal with Focus Blast versus Stack Attack. I also feel yeah. like Stack Attack being in the back the entire time definitely forced certain plays, like mm -hmm. like the early uh, Super Power on Gigalith. Um, yeah. Obviously, never Slowbro coming out, uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. but, uh, that mom was definitely a threatening presence in the end. I think. Yeah, for sure. What do you have? You have you laddered for the suspect? I so I did. A, I did a little bit, right? So initially, when I laddered for the suspect, um, my first thought process was, I can't believe Mega. Uh, I can't believe Stack Attack is being suspected and not Mega Blastoise, the Pokemon on fifty percent of teams, um, mm -hmm. which is like I guess the OU bias as well of Landers and whatnot. But yeah, yeah, as I was playing every single game, I won in the end by clicking Trick Room on something that allowed me to set up. So yeah. I, I realized, like, I didn't realize how restricting it was because. On, I feel like, on paper, it's it looks a lot less annoying than what it actually is in play. Like it obviously looks annoying, but I was like, mm -hmm. okay, well, duh, I just don't bring out something that lets stack attack that set, up. set up. But then I was like, when I'm playing, I was like, holy yeah, yeah. crap, man, this is tough. This is like yeah, if you brought yeah. stack attack it yourself, my game plan was win the tie with my stack attack, or <laughs> hope you throw and go for earthquake versus my Shuka Drapion. That was it. No, like some of the UU players are talking about it, and when stack was and you you like people were using like level like 98 stack attackers to get yeah. lower speed yeah, so they slower. Would... yeah. <laughs> i remember especially when we lost chestnut uh the blade steelix glygar like... yeah yeah that's i don't know like the tier just changed Massively, so much yeah. and like all the drops all the drops made stacker and zydog just way better yeah and verizion yeah zygarde for, for sure was nasty mm -hmm. um yo uh, can you answer something for me why does yeah, uh Uchi sure. run zen headbutt versus Psyshock? When they do the uh, same damage, because uh, because Cole's literally insane. It doesn't it doesn't run that. <laughs> oh okay, because he, he gave me his head, but uh, oh yeah, Cole, Cole's insane because he wants maximum damage on YouTube. <laughs> okay, okay, that makes sense. Because <laughs> I was running the count because I originally I was in headbutt versus Psy Shock, but I was like, okay, I don't yeah. care about my U turn uh, as yeah. much as yeah. the Psy Shock actually dealing with things like Rose Raid and you know not missing. Uh, you got to be insane to run Zen headbutt. No, Cole has the best spreads though. No, have you seen his EVs? Like, yes, he, I, he, he has he, a he, he carried <laughs> me. He carried me in RU Open. He's the he has like an AV Machamp with like EVs in every stat. Yes. It's like twenty four, but it's disgusting. But you know what? They're all there for a reason too. I know, I know. Like I like uh, Ob passes me a bunch of his teams, and like I don't even ask Cole like what the spreads are, and like just for fun, like sometimes I'll go in the calc and like try to find out what the spread is for. Yeah, I found out a. Uh, his Noivern had like 64 spadef, some HP, and I lived an ice mm -hmm. beam from Milotic, and I was like, oh. <laughs> like, I found that in battle. I was like, oh, okay, this is why this is there. Like, he, he, yeah, Cole's crazy. Cole, Cole's really good, but some of his builds are just too out there. Like, I feel like he Theorymons a little much, because he doesn't he doesn't play as much anymore. So sometimes he'll just cook something up that's crazy and not test it and be like, oh, use this, it's fire. 
I mean, when he gave me teams for open, he literally said, "You'll be my my sheep for for this," and, and they worked. They worked. So yeah. I, mean, I can't really complain much. Um, nah, he's definitely like my favorite builder. In yeah, RU. for for RU, he's my favorite as well. Um, I've been liking a Selgor's builds a lot though. I feel like every because mm -hmm. I, I I was uh, I was a little bit worried um, going into SPL uh, because of. Uh, I knew I'd be drafted, but I wasn't sure what I'd be playing. A lot of people told me they'd be playing RU. So Tony mm -hmm. and Cole were talking about picking me up. And I was like, oh, perfect. I'll just get mm -hmm. fire teams the entire time. Uh, and then I got picked up by the Tyrants, which I don't mind. Obviously, I have a bunch of friends on them as well. I was yeah. like, oh, man, what am I going to do for teams? But then, you know, Hog, Aselgor, they're putting in so much work. Like, they, they make like yeah. 10 million teams uh, um, a week. And I just give like a little idea or two. Like, another thing I wanted to bring versus you, which I'm glad I did not, was Glycepot plus Nine Tails. Um, mm -hmm. Specs Nine Tails, bro, which might bro, actually, bro, bro, might bro, bro. <laughs> Everyone brings Nine Tails versus me. The whole like, it literally, it got brought versus me last night four times. <laughs> hey man, it wouldn't, I'm, it wouldn't I'm, have been that bad I'm, here. Versus Gigalith? I don't it, know, dude. You're versus Bandit Gigalith. It would not have been bad. I literally bring it in on Statland and click Overheat for free. I got how gets, Overheat Overheat to Gigalith does like twenty, bro. Yeah, that's damage though. And then you have to take sixty in return on something. I'm going slow, bro. Bro, I'm 4 0 versus 9 tails. That's all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, well, I'm glad I ended up going with that anyway. I did, I did like the Gardevoir uh, pursuit route. But, um, yeah, yeah, I thought it was great prep. Thank you so much for joining me, by the way. Appreciate it. For sure, bro. Uh, thank guys, you for having me. Hope, no, no problem. Uh, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see something like this. Uh, I was very happy that he had a good mic because um, he's a <laughs> rapper, and I was been really mad at him if he didn't have a good mic. But, uh, Check out his SoundCloud. Uh, hey, I'll, I'll be in that. the comment. I'll be, I'll be in the comments fishing, <laughs> fishing, fishing for followers. Uh, let me know your thought process on this. I know some of you are like, um, oh, you skip the turns too much. You pause too much. I can leave the replay down below if you guys just want to find the 25 turns. But I wanted to give you guys two tournament players' thought process behind the game. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely see Ajna in RU as time goes on, whether it be uh, RU open hey. or this you better make play i need my rematch <laughs> hey you need, you need your double rematch bro <laughs> that's that's two and oh in tours hey 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 zora dark meta doesn't count <laughs> wait zora Meg does definitely counts that mom broke no 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 you don't even know what mon it is bro yeah, i'm not even playing, playing was that versus you Did that i brought out my verizion and it was a, a zora mm, an ISD? Mm, i think so or i'm not sure though well, Leo? Uh, uh, I'm not 100%. Dude, I was looking for those replays because I was trying to figure out how we played back then and to get a feel, and mm -hmm. I was like, crap, replays weren't working back then. They weren't? No, no, that's why I live recorded. Because I feel I feel like I have those replays, though. I don't think they exist. Maybe they do. Really? Maybe they do. Um, I, I'll, I'll try and find them. If I find them, I'll send it to you. All right, awesome. Thank you, man. But yeah, guys, hope you all enjoy it. See you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.